Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. Hope you guys are having a good one. I've got a chainsaw on the bench today and uh, I know it's a pretty common one. Um, so we'll jump right to it. We're going to be doing a carburetor swap and I will show you all how the fuel line routing is on this because uh, in the past I have messed it up and uh, I know it can be a little bit tricky if you don't know how to set it up correctly. So let's jump right to it, check it out and let's get started. And this is what we've got on the bench today. It's Poulon Wild Thing 2375. Um, this is an 18 inch bar machine, uh, but this doesn't have to necessarily apply just to the Poulon Wild Things. A lot of the Poulon saws with the primer bulb setup, as well as some of your Craftsman uh, chainsaws, they're all running very similar carburetors and fuel line setup. So you can apply this to uh, multiple different machines, and hopefully, this will help you guys out. Um, this unit has been sitting for a while and uh, I tried to get it cranked up the other day and it would not run with fresh fuel. Um, I did end up putting a little bit of fuel down into the throat of the carburetor and pulled it a few times and it kicked over. Um, so I know it's having an issue with the carburetor and uh, I've got a new carburetor from hippo360.com. So we're going to try that out today. I'll leave a link below in the description. You guys can check it out. Um, so we'll get started on this. I'll get the top cover off. We just have three uh, flat head screws on that and I'll get this top cover removed and we'll move on from there. And I've got the three screws on the top cover loose. So you can go ahead and remove that top cover. And then we are have our air filter and air housing uh, exposed. Once you take the filter out, you'll have two 8mm nuts to get off the studs. So we'll take those. You can just take the air filter housing off and then there's a gasket that goes between that housing and the carburetor. So now what we are left with is basically just disconnecting the fuel hoses and uh, the throttle linkage on here as well. So um, on this particular one, we just have a fuel line here on the top. And then we also have a fuel line on this side. Some of them will have a fuel line on uh, both of them on the right hand side. But this particular model has the uh, lower hose on the left side and the upper one on the right side. So we've got these two fuel lines disconnected and we can go ahead and pull up the choke arm and pull this back. Go ahead and get it off from the studs and then you can just turn it and get it off from the throttle linkage. So at this point we have our carburetor removed and I will show you guys exactly how these fuel lines work on here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this side cover. And uh, once I get this taken off, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the fuel lines are routed and which hose goes onto um, the primer bulb because it is specific to um, the two ends on the primer bulb, which hose goes to what. So I'll get that off and I'll show you guys exactly how this is set up. All right, and I've got the side cover off here so I can show you guys exactly how these are set up. So starting from the beginning, this small line right here goes down into your tank and that's the one that has the fuel filter on it that comes up from the tank and that will go into the right hand side of the carburetor. And then from there on the left hand side of the carburetor, it will come out and go into this fuel line that goes to your primer bulb. Now it's very important on the primer bulb, if you guys can see, there is a longer tab and a shorter tab or fuel fitting. You want the line that's coming off uh, of the left side of the carburetor to go to the shorter one and the other line is gonna connect to the longer fitting and that one is the one that goes back into your tank and that is actually the fuel return. So pretty much that's the way that these systems work. If you have the carburetor that has 
both of the fittings on the right hand side basically your upper fitting is still going to be the same it'll be this one right here and then you may have uh, one that's a little bit lower down here on the side or towards the bottom and that's going to be the one that hooks up uh, to the primer bulb and those are basically the setups so um, I know this because I've messed it up in the past and uh, it's pretty easy to do and then your primer will not work correctly and your carburetor will not work correctly either so um, let me get you guys set back up on the tripod and we will basically at this point I need to take the choke lever and just swap it over to the new carburetor and in order to do that there's just this little tab you just pinch those together and then you just put it back onto the uh, lever on the new one and then I'll get this in place and we'll start getting everything attached up all right well I've got the choke lever swapped over to the new carburetor uh, I did also want to mention make sure your gasket is good here the space gasket that goes between the carburetor and the uh, intake manifold here on the front and uh, so we should be good to go ahead and get everything put back into place um, I'll go ahead and get the throttle just get that arm back in there and then I think it's easier if you pull the throttle back on the actual trigger and then you can get the carburetor onto the studs And then it basically just slides in. Have our fuel line here on the right hand side. Just connect that right up to the top. And then we have our other fuel line, which I'm probably gonna have to get some needle nose pliers to fit, but the other line is just gonna go right onto that fitting. And uh, after that, just make sure that your gasket goes back on and then we'll mount up the air box so uh, basically exactly reverse order of how we took it apart so I'm just gonna hook up the fuel line I'm gonna get the air box back on here and get the primer bulb back on and uh, I'll show you guys from there all right and before I get everything totally buttoned up I just put a little bit of fuel in the tank because I want to show you guys exactly how this is supposed to work this is gonna draw uh, fuel up into the top of the carburetor then it's going to come back down out of the bottom here through the primer bulb and then return back to the tank. So if you guys watch this fuel line here, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze. Now you can see the fuel is running up, priming through my primer bulb filled. And now you can see that fuel returning back to the tank. So that's how that is supposed to be set up on there. And uh, we should be all set. So basically at this point, I'm just gonna button up the cover, like I said. Um, put these on. Um, do not over tighten these nuts because you can warp the plastic cover and then you'll have problems with getting your air box to seal. So that's what these gaskets are for. Just make sure it's snug, but don't over torque them. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna get the covers back on, side cover, and uh, we'll get it outside and see if this will fire up. All right, it's the moment of truth here. We'll give it a couple of primes. I know we gave it some primes in the shop. So we'll put the choke on here. Kicked over. Take it off choke. started up uh, a little bit easier than I thought it would so uh, I am happy with that carburetor swap and I hope me explaining those fuel lines a little bit helps somebody out because they can be pretty tricky 
uh, especially on this kind of setup. It's uh, um, pretty particular on exactly where those fuel lines have to go and those two different um, uh, fuel fittings on the primer setup. So I do hope this helps and uh, hopefully you guys are able to get your machines running if that's what you got going on. So um, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you do like this kind of content and uh, you guys want to see more fixes and more stuff in the future, just please let me know and think about hitting that subscribe below. So on that note, let freedom ring, let this small engine sing. I'll see you guys in the next video.